Yo, what's up guys, it's Hammy here. Today we're bringing you another weapon review. Today we're going to be talking about the new Orso submachine gun that just released with the new Resistance event. Uh, this is a pretty generic submachine gun, moderate fire rate. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> there's no way I can get around this, but I can't hype this gun up. I can't do any fancy lying. It's just not who I am. This gun... If you don't have it or haven't tried it, it is just not very good. This is going to be a shorter review today because there's nothing really I can do to sugarcoat this gun to make it better, seem better than what it really is to try to get views or try to, you know, get subs and views, stuff like that. So I don't know. We'll see what we can do. I'm basically just going to tell you what it is, face value. So let's get right into it. Now it was pretty hard to get clips with this gun, uh, I really couldn't do anything with it. Uh, it's not a good gun, so we're going to do a little talking, a little voice over here of what we use on it. So I'm probably going to use it on the Airborne Division with Hustle, both of these are good for it. You could even use the new Resistance Division if you wanted to, since it's new and a little exciting. So you could use either one of those, you could even use Infantry if you wanted to, because this gun is, can run out of ammo pretty quickly. But uh, there's the Orso gun. They have the generic kit on it right now. You can use either one. Nothing really changes too much with it on that. But it seems like the best attachments to use are probably going to be the grip and extended mags. This gun's recoil is just absolutely absurd. It's really hard to handle. I mean, it's just it's just not very good. It has an average magazine, 30 round clip, so. It's all the shots you're going to miss and how long it takes to kill. Extended mags is a good option. You could also take off extended mags and probably run rapid fire or long barrel or I don't know. Red dot. There's not much you can do with this gun at all. Uh, big issue with it right off the bat when you first use it is the iron sights. These have to be some of the worst iron sights in the game. It's probably going to compete with the SVT-40. Not just not good iron sights. And the gun's recoil is is pretty bad too. Really, really hard to handle. Just not a good gun. It's ugh. Whew, this gun was going with something else. Getting chrome for I got it in chrome. Took me like four hours to get this gun gold. That is absurd compared to most other guns. It's just you, look how much of the sight gets taken up. You can't see anything, man. You try to get headshots, just try to use, it's hard to use, so. Red Dot is, is a, kind of a must, but it sucks to have to use it because you really need other attachments for it. I don't know, it's just not a good gun. Now what this gun's good at, this gun can kill quickly, fairly quickly up close. But it's damage and recoil is so bad at range that oh, it's unusable at range so that makes it basically in the same class is like the Wa or the Thompson and these guns just outshine the Orso so much and if you get too close range which you need to be with guns like these you're just gonna get destroyed by everyone's favorite combat shotgun on a, on a map like Point to Hawk it's just going to be shotgun central. You're not going to be able to compete with anything. So what it's meant for, a close, really close range combat, it's just going to get outshone by so many different guns. It's just not a viable option in my opinion whatsoever. It's my issues on the final review of this gun. Uh, why reasons I think it's not a solid option or things you can do to buff it. Yeah, the iron sights are pitiful. The recoil is hard to handle and un just so inconsistent. Uh, I mean, it's it's just it's range and damage are pitiful. And it puts in that close range submachine gun, which is going to get outshot by a shotgun over and over again, which is already a big issue. Now, what I would do to maybe improve this gun a little bit to make it more viable and actually usable. I'll open up the iron sights, make the V larger. You can already see that the Iron sights for most guns are not realistic and wouldn't work at all in real life. So we go ahead and open these iron sights up a little bit. Uh, make the the range a better range submachine gun and 
make the recoil not out of less but make it more consistent like straight up or something you could make it less that'd make it good too but this inconsistency of the recoil and how you never know which way it's going to kick or whatnot so i mean you could that'd be how i'd buff this gun to make it usable now moving on over to hardcore which is what i usually play the most um this gun is just uh, uh, even worse this gun is absolutely unusable if you watched our stream whenever i was trying to get this gun gold when it first came out uh, you will see me playing hardcore trying to get our headshots and this gun is terrible in hardcore wouldn't even pick this gun up at all it might even be easier to get this gun gold in core i i don't know it is a lot better in core than it is in hardcore uh that why i think that's true is because it takes almost two shots every time you hardly ever get a one shot kill with this gun uh its recoil again is just terrible and you're never going to land shots you're going to miss more, most shots so accurate guns are just going to demolish you. Uh, hard use iron sights again. Uh, it feels like the hit detection is pitiful. Like shots that you think should hit will just not hit. So for what I think you should use on this gun in hardcore, we're going to go with a red dot to try to make it to where you can land shots as easily as possible. Uh, we are going to run three attachments, so you need the prime basic training. Uh, we're going to throw extended mags on there with it with a grip. The extended mags so you can get uh, good feeds. Try to get as many kills as you can. Uh, try to fix that issue with the bad recoil to where you might miss a lot of shots so you can kill as many people as possible uh grip same thing you try to control that massive recoil she has and unpredictable uh division i'm gonna go with mountain because it's by far the best uh silent footsteps uh keeps you off the radar kill streaks that come in won't kill you because they won't be able to see you uh, basic training again primed we're, we're using the rank four resistance division uh, submachine or not submachine gun pistol just it's a pretty good pistol we have a video up if you haven't seen that video i'd recommend checking it out this new pistol is amazing with some perk setups and we're gonna throw on it the sticky grenade which is by far the best for hardcore yeah i really wanted this gun to be good uh it looks cool uh it's always fun to have a new good gun to play with but as of right now making this video this gun gets outshone so much by the new assault rifle the volk sturm -Gewehr. Uh, it's just, it's a really powerful gun, and everyone has a video up about it so far. I'm sure you've probably seen it, or even you have even used the gun. Uh, so, that's just, it's just, why not use that gun over this one? It's just such a great gun. But all that nice, hammy weapon review stuff aside, I like to sit here and take a little while to talk to you guys about what me and Sean want from our channel, uh, what we're here for, and what we like. Um... Our channel, we based it around um, getting number one on the Call of Duty World War II leaderboards and basically getting there and keeping the number one spot for as long as we could at the beginning of the game. Uh, it was a huge success for sure. Uh, our competition we had with other people really drove our channel to success uh, in a very short amount of time, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, what we've achieved in a short amount of time in a community that's very oversaturated with YouTubers and content very similar to what we were doing. It's absolutely amazing and I can't thank you all enough for that. But in our opinions, leaderboards only last so long and there's only so much you can do with that. So a channel has to flourish and change what it's about after so long. Because in my opinion, I don't know about most people, but after so long, leaderboards kind of die. And if you're number one in leaderboards after so long, it really doesn't mean too much. It just means that you sit there and play the game a lot. And the skill from the game is completely gone from that. So I'd say after the first, I don't know, two months maybe, or a, a little while after the first few people get to max rank, and the game, the leaderboards are basically done. That now separates the people that are really good, which are going to probably stop playing to the people that anyone could do it. Just sit there in front of your game console and just play. It starts to separate those two. People start stop caring as much about the topic. So we're going to probably eventually have to stray away from what we're doing now and what we're known for and start doing new things. Now me and Sean both don't really want our channel to specifically be just about Call of Duty content. I know it's what all of you love. And if you're around still in this video, I appreciate it. Now we'd love to bring you uh, new content, new first-person shooters. Uh, we'd love to do, like, since it's a 
cooperative channel. We love to do cooperative uh, let's plays, not let's plays, but uh, playthroughs of games. Like, we both have a big interest in playing the new Far Cry 5 game that's coming out in the near future. Uh, I think it'd be really funny and great content to see both of our personalities, which are very different, and the stream comments really make sure that's prevalent. Me and Sean are very different people. Uh, we have different viewpoints, uh, different personalities, for sure. Sean's a good people person. I'm more of an analytic person. Uh, I think both of those personalities combined in the Let's Play would be pretty funny. So I'm curious to see if any of you would be interested in stuff like that to maybe base our opinion about maybe if we should do it sooner or later or maybe even not at all. But for when it comes to who we are and what we want out of a channel, we both do not like those fake type of YouTubers, those YouTubers that plaster their videos with clickbait, plaster things trying to pull you in, trying to abuse the algorithm of YouTube. Uh, trying to get people in. We don't really care for that. We want our content to feel genuine. We want it to feel like we're not fake people behind a camera trying to get money off of a market that is not supposed to be about money. We we don't use scripts. We use generic material. Um, like, not material, but like we use PlayStation 4s to record our our videos. We don't have a PC yet. We're trying. We're trying to make it. But I feel like if you're sitting here reading off a script of something that you wrote that's basically the same thing that everyone else is doing, there's no personality behind the video. There's no drawing factor that makes people want to come and watch you. So I always wanted to have content that didn't feel like I was a robot reading off a script. And I wanted to feel like you were talking to someone and, uh, I don't know, you can just connect with someone and come here and have a good time and know that you're loved and it's just... Just have a good time and make friends. That's what this channel's about. Uh, and in the forefront, it is about grinding out Call of Duty and maybe even other games leaderboards. We'll see when the time comes. Uh, next year, we know for sure we will be on with the next Call of Duty, which is probably going to be a really big game. Which is Treyarch's Call of Duty, which everyone always loves Treyarch's Call of Duty. So me and Sean will be back next year for sure, grinding out them Call of Duty leaderboards nice and hard for you all. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you guys can come back. And if you liked our content, we'll have plenty more coming out for you so you can come in back and enjoy it. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Hammy out. <laughs>